So you've mastered the fine art of digital video editing, and now you're ready to share your creation with Grandma. But what if she doesn't have a computer? Hi, I'm John Shaw, writer on the Windows team. Today I'm going to show you how to put your home movies on a special type of disc known as a DVD video disc that can be played in just about any standard DVD player that's connected to a TV. There are many programs you can use to create DVD video discs, but today I want to show you a cool feature that's included in the Home Premium and Ultimate Editions of Windows Vista. It's called Windows DVD Maker. To get started, just insert a blank recordable DVD into your DVD burner. My burner supports DVD plus R discs, so that's the kind of blank disc we'll use here. When you insert the disc, the autoplay dialog opens automatically. You might see all sorts of options depending upon what programs you have installed. Click the one that says Burn a DVD Video Disc using Windows DVD Maker. When DVD Maker starts, click Choose Photos and Videos. Click Add Items and then select the videos you want to add to your DVD. I'm going to pick these three. Click Add. After a few seconds, the videos are added to your project. You can rearrange the videos by dragging them up or down in the list. Now give your DVD a title. I'm going to type in Summer Vacation. When you're ready, click Next. DVD Maker lets you customize the main menu for your DVD. This is what viewers will see first when they watch your finished DVD. To choose a menu style, scroll through the list and then click one that you like. I like Reflections. To see how the menu will look and behave, click Preview. Click a button or image to play the video, to skip to specific scenes, or to choose other options. If you want, experiment with the menu options to further customize your DVD. If you need to go back to a previous screen to make changes, click the Back button. When everything is perfect, click Burn. Wait for the DVD to be burned. This can take a while and depends on a few things, such as the speed of your computer and how much video you've added to your DVD. When your disc is ready, it will automatically eject. That's it. You're done. The disc we just burned will play in just about any recent home DVD player. Now all you have to do is label it, put it in the mail, and wait for Grandma to send you some cookies in return.